G'day guys, Vex here. Uh, today I'm playing some classic EverQuest and I'm down here in South Kara on my little halfling druid. And I thought that today I would go over the basics of quad kiting. So before you attempt any sort of quad kite or pull, um, the things you need to consider are your buffs. So most importantly you'll want some sort of hit point AC to help you take a hit and you'll want Spirit of Wolf so that you can outrun whatever it is that you're trying to kill. Uh, the second thing that you need to consider is your spell loadout. So what you're going to want is a snare, uh, then you're going to want some sort of a lower level nuke to help you finish off stragglers if you've got a final mob left. You're definitely going to want your AoE nuke. So for druids you can start doing this at level 34. Um, Lightning Strike is the first nuke you get, which is really effective at doing this. Um, it is a ranged AoE, so you can cast it from a distance, and when it lands, it uh, covers a small area on the ground. Uh, the fourth spell you want is definitely a Root. Now, you won't use this normally in the process of quadding, but if you get an add, you'll definitely want it to crowd control any extra mobs. Um, if you're not comfortable and while you're learning, you could definitely use a gate or a teleport spell to get out. Uh, I'll just throw gate in there. Alrighty, the third thing that you want to consider is to make sure that you have a nice open area, especially while you're learning. So in South Karana here, there's plenty of room and it's reasonably safe. I say that, but there comes the Cyclops. Um, and the fourth thing is the enemies that you're actually killing. So you want to make sure that they're round about the same level and you want to make sure that there's no spellcasters in the mix. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever tried to kite a spellcaster, but that just doesn't work very well. And the final thing is to make sure that you have enough mana to actually get the job done. So I am very reasonably geared, like I'm still wearing a lot of starter gear, so I'm sitting with a wisdom of 177 which is by no means great and that gives me a mana pool of 1485 just gonna get out of that guy's way before he decides to stomp on my face so once you've considered all of those things you have your buffs on you have the correct spells loaded you have an exit plan you know that the area is clear and um, then we're ready to go so it turns out there's a little bit of traffic here at the Spires today, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab three random enemies. Um, three is exactly the same as doing this with four. You don't use any extra mana. So to start our pull-off, we snare the enemies. So that's number one. Number two. This guy will be our third. If we're lucky we'll have a fourth spawn here. But um, then what you have to do next is try and ball these enemies up. So I'm going to kite them around so that they end up eventually being on top of each other. So our AoE nuke can be cast from a distance, but it does have a quite a small radius when it lands. So just as these guys follow me, you see they get closer and closer together. And then just to speed things up, what we do is we do a lap around them. And that should stack them nicely. Like so. Alrighty, so that's well and truly close enough. Come on, fourth mob. Aha! Ah, 
Alright, that's number four, so we'll just ball these enemies up again. So you see as I loop around, the uh, the one that was a long way away is getting closer to the pack. Alrighty, we're just about there. So once you get to them to this stage, that's close enough, then we can start our nuking. So we'll just run away and get a little bit of distance here and then start casting Lightning Strike. So you just want to check your combat log that you actually get four hits. There we go, that's four hits, so the enemies are close enough together. And then it's just a case of rinse and repeat. Maintaining that distance, watching out for adds and snare uh, dropping off, although at this level snare should last way long enough. One or two more nukes should do it. Alrighty, and there we go. Um, so as you can see, I mean, this is doable by people who are only in starter gear, um, and it definitely is a very viable strategy for leveling as a druid or as a wizard. Uh, four lots of XP from one bar of mana, or less than a bar of mana, even without enchanter uh, buffs, is pretty efficient. So, um, yeah, I hope this was of use to someone, and um, quadding is great. Uh, don't be afraid to give it a go. If things go badly, you can always run away or port. So, um, Alright guys, I'm Vex, uh, thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.